So today we will do a lab uh, on Windows Server 2022 uh, iSCSI target or iSCSI initiator or you want a virtual disk and you want to use it in your cluster but you need a shared disk to two servers so how can you can use this iSCSI target server as a virtual disk or as a you can say your sand storage where you can use this disk for your uh, cluster uh, servers uh, servers to add there as a LAN or as a iSCSI initiator. So let's go. We will do our lab. Here we installed. I have installed two servers, which is our one server Windows 2022. I have created this one for the iSCSI target and second member server. We will use the disk as a uh, with uh, iSCSI initiator. So meanwhile. We are running with this lab. Uh, already these two computers are joined with the domain controller. It's not compulsory, but you can use it uh, as a in your environment to make our uh, domain controller. Later on, you can use it as a cluster disk also. Okay, let's go to our iSCSI target server. This server will act as a iSCSI target. It will provide us uh, some virtual disk. Okay, we'll use this one. Sorry. Okay. So, this is our iSCSI target server. This is Windows Server 2022. We'll use it as a iSCSI target. So, you have to go into your uh, server manager and you can see this is our uh, iSCSI target server, Windows 2022 standard edition and I have joined the domain. <coughs> Here is pinkitcomputer.com. Okay, so uh, we'll go and start uh, using iSCSI. Uh, files because it's, it is always here in the iSCSI but we will go back to our dashboard and a role here I'll bring it here we'll do next 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 server roles it's include under the files and servers see here we go iSCSI servers you can use iSCSI targets or I, I will choose all full file server you can install but iSCSI targets okay and iSCSI which and this one we both features we install but only required this one for the lab for iSCSI target server next next and install so it will take a little time to install these all iSCSI target server as a, as a target server and meanwhile i will show you my c drive we have here c drive 150 uh, 60 gb and we'll use some gbs for creating a virtual drives <clears throat> so it's installed see installation successfully started okay so I will close again and we can go again for our server manager and in the server manager we will go under our files and storage and under files and storage you can see now more options here so we will go iSCSI and here we will create new iSCSI virtual disk here is a new wizard and it's this is the server name our target server and this is the total space we have for creation a new and this is the default path it's uh, at you know c drive it will be iSCSI virtual disk folder there it will create virtual disk so we'll go next here you can give a uh, disk name One will create a fixed disk and one will create a dynamic disk. So I will show you the uh, difference between these two. In 
the description we will create same next okay so we have space on cg c drive 149 so we'll give like uh, 10 gb our fixed drive fix is and what is dynamic when it what is fixed fixed mean like in vmware when you see thin and thick same concepts here so fixed size is thick and dynamic is thin so we'll go this one for fix next here is a new iSCSI target so new iSCSI target we'll create a new one we'll go next here is the address we have to give new iSCSI target what is your target you can give it here Okay, this is our name for the iSCSI target. This is the target. Uh, next, now we'll add our access servers. The servers who's gonna use this tar this virtual virtual disk. That servers we will add here. If you know the you know IP address and so this way you want to connect, it's okay. But always use uh, IQN number. First, browse the server. I'll go look at my SRV check if there is any server okay there is one zero server we'll use this server as a our iSCSI target computer oh, uh, iSCSI computer which will use the drives okay next okay done this is our server is here and next we'll go here if you want to use authentication chap you can use it but we will not use here so you can use it it's good for the security in production people use this one iSCSI for the security reasons uh, this chap enable you can do it next confirm this is the disk and create so it will take a little time and create our disk close okay see one disk is here so we'll go and other disk will create we'll create two disks this was fixed next disk we will create as a uh, iSCSI disk virtual disk dynamic okay so this is disk 2 which one we will use as a dynamic then i will show you the difference between of them next so this one will use 15 gb and we'll use dynamic expanding next target same we will select same target okay next and create so second disk is also created so one target we are using two disks and if you go on a c drive in this computer c drive you can see here is the one folder which is iSCSI virtual disk and if you go we have two disks one is fixed one is dynamic and fix you can see we gave 10 gb it is 10 gb is here total but this one we gave 15 gb but it's showing for um, mb some kbs okay so it means because this is not a fixed drive this is dynamic that's why uh, even though it's a 15 gb but it's showing only usage here so that's the difference between these two okay our drives are ready everything is fine look at the our this server ip address cmd I'll go and check the IP address of our target. Here we go. Okay, 192.168, it's 5. So 5 is here. We will go on this server, which is 6. Our IP address is 6. We'll check the ping first. Okay, so we will go CMD. We'll ping. First, our target server is pinging or not. I will show you the IP address first. See, IP address is 6. So, we will ping 5. If it is pinging, we are good to go. Okay, sorry. Ping. Okay, so we are receiving ping from our target server iSCSI okay first thing you have to go to your server manager and then you have to go tools 
and here is iSCSI initiator. You have to click on that because by default, when you install a server, the iSCSI service is not running. When you click on here, so it will say, can I start the initiator service? I said, yes. Okay. And this one, meanwhile, I will close. I don't need to open this one again. We will close this. Okay. iSCSI is automatically open and then service is running. So here we'll give our target server IP address, which is 20.5. Quick connect. Okay. Here is the uh, iSCSI target. Uh, which we created there it's already succeeded login is succeeded if there is login issues or something you can restart the server and it will fix okay and we'll go here okay and now you can if you go here there is no disks because we have to go into in disk management okay you can go this way or either you can click on a server manager and computer it is in the tools we'll go computer management and in the computer management you can see your disk management and here you can see your both derived drives here i'll do little app see 110 gb and 115 gb so we'll initiate initialized okay and create a new volume and we'll go a volume cl disk fixed okay our fixed disk okay next finish it's formatting and our fixed disk is there this one we can do online initialized next this one is our dynamic disk next finish see we have both disk and if we go now in our in our this computer and you can see you have a full both disks are here so these disks are ready for use so in dynamic or in disk i can create some you know new folder i can create new uh, text files and some more files if you want you can create it here rename so it's ready so here we have data on that and if you want to increase later on the drive size you come into disks okay iscsi shares and disks here is two disks online. Here is our disk. Make up. Okay. See, disk is 10 GB, 15 GB. So we can right click, extend. Here we can like 10 GB. We can extend um, 6 GB. Okay. Size will larger than current size. Okay. Current size is 10, we can go 12 GB because this one is fixed drive. Okay, and it's now went to the next, and then we can make dynamic one extend 15, we can make it 20. Okay, again connected. And if you go here and see, we will refresh, or you can restart the uh, initiators service or you can go into your device manager into the disk management you will see sorry disk management and you can see the disks are here extended so these disks are extended even though you can create a new disk new volume here and you can say second fixed second disk fixed one finish it will create another one or you can extend this volume available like this finish and then it's extended to 20 gb so here we go see our drives another one fixed to 
and this is the old one which is already have a data nothing no impact even you increasing or making a new one dynamic is also there and you can create here also some files so this disk also you can use in your cluster our upcoming videos are coming on the cluster so we can create these uh, disks and we will use in the failover cluster windows failover cluster so this is the uh, lab today hopefully you like it and if you guys like my videos and uh, my uh, labs please do not uh, forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos take care bye bye